Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for another VR uh, experience video, I suppose you could call it. We are looking at a title called In Dot Block. Uh, this is a game that came out, um, or an experience that came out fairly recently, um, as, at least as far as I know as I'm recording this. Saw it on the Oculus Store, wasn't quite sure what to make of it, and it looked kind of neat. Uh, I don't remember. It's either free or very, very cheap. I don't remember. But basically, I've got my Oculus Touch controllers here. And you see I've got a kind of a control panel here in my left hand. And a block in my right hand. And basically what this seems to be is kind of like a building block... Um, you can kind of build with blocks essentially so i have a whole bunch of things on my can these are like different colors and stuff that i can choose on my control panel here and you see when i get it in my so when i go out here it's a block in the world when i take my touch controller and put it in front of my control panel here i get like a little laser pointer thing here uh let's say that i want so right now uh these are all the colors this is how you can build this will let you remove uh, blocks. And these, I don't know what these, these arrow things here, I don't know what they do. They don't really seem to do anything. So I'm not sure. This one in the bottom left corner will let you reset. And then you have kind of like your other controls. You can save things and stuff if you want to. Um, so this just comes up automatically here, this little, whatever this is supposed to be. So if I want to start clean, if I want to get my own stuff in there, let's say I click this. Now you see it's like this kind of a transparent or translucent block. I can go, do, 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 just, I'll wipe you out there. Come on. A little close to the camera here, so hopefully... Okay, let me back up a bit. Now, one thing that I've kind of... In the short time that I've tinkered with this... Uh, it seems kind of... Like, in, in one way, it's really cool. But, on the other hand, it's kind of imprecise. Like, especially when you build. So, like, let's say... Okay, we're going to build... Let's do some, uh, like, let's say I wanted to make some grass. So I could start here. I could lay down a block at a time. Which is slow. Or, see, I already screwed that up. I wonder if I, I should, and you can move it. So I, oh, oh, because they're attached, it moves the whole thing. Okay. So let's say that I want, let's just keep it up this high. Can I? No, because it's all attached. It wants me to move the whole thing. So. Let's. So I could be really meticulous about it. But this isn't efficient at all. So what I could do is if I hold, basically what I'm doing is I have, I'm holding my uh, right trigger down, and if I just click the right trigger, it'll place a block wherever the indicator is in the world here. But let's say that I wanna try to hold it down. See, it's really hard <laughs> to get it like the exact height to not go up and down you gotta be you gotta really get used to so i can let go there so let's say that i wanted to yeah see i'm already a little higher but that's okay i feel like i'm in minecraft sort of and i can eventually i can kind of cut out these top things too so we are just going to, I'm just going to make a quick swath of land because we're going to try to build like a, maybe a simple building here. We'll cut it out later. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, there's really, the thing is, is that like, there's no tactile feedback, really. Um, I mean, it, it works. It's just, it's a little tricky. And I can lean in and look. Okay, so we got a pretty good starting point here. I don't really want to go any higher than that. I want to try to get a flat plane here. Okay. Don't go any higher. Oop. Okay, we'll uh, try to take care of that here in the end. I mean, there there are a couple of... I haven't checked them out yet. Um, there's a drawing one for the for the rift too i think you got it free with the touch controllers that was a medium I or no that was there's a sculpting one and there's a there's a sculpting one and then there's a drawing one i haven't tried either one of those yet but they look kind of cool okay so let's say that this is good uh so really you know, granted, I have, you know, I could be building down below, but, you know, like, the, the land is kind of right up here, so it's given me a little bit of space. And, you know, if I had a big, big playroom here, or play area, you know, I've got a pretty decent size thing to work with. But, see now, okay, well, let's go. So now, uh, we want to. Let's see, let's see if we can do, yeah, so if I go like this, see, you know, I'm taking away the top parts of the land that I don't want. Uh, going to edit our terrain here. And the nice thing is I can kind of clip through, so if I'm low vision, I can still even get close to what I need to in order to make this work. Uh, boink, there we go. Get rid of some of this here. You know, I could see doing like a Lego type thing or doing like, that'd be really cool in VR, you know? Get rid of that, that, there we go. And we'll leave the stuff back there because it's just a, you know, we're just going to do something simple, pretty small, because we're just for the sake of the video, we're not going to do anything super artistic here. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay. There we go. Just want to make it so I can try to get rid of. So I want to make sure that I don't go too far down either. All right, so now let's go into build mode again. I mean, this is really rudimentary, but you get the idea of like what could be possible, you know? So let's do, we'll do, no, we'll do a blue house. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to start back here. And I'm going to do this slowly. We're just going to make a tiny little thing here because, you know, just a, basically a one-room shack, essentially, because otherwise we're going to be here. Oh, that didn't work right. Hang on. I wish there was a way to, like, toggle between erase and, like, my X or, you know, my X or A buttons or something. Um, okay, let's get up here. There we go. Okay, we're going to skip. We're going to... Let's see. You know what? Actually, here, let me show you the other thing I can do. So I click the left stick, 
or the my left stick on the left controller. So now if I want to get on this side better. Oops. Ah, got my thing tangled up here. I am not left-handed by any stretch of the imagination, so forgive my uh terrible left-handedness. Come in. No. Would ya maybe it okay. Okay, there we go. Um let's switch back. Okay, and We'll do this. We're basically making a window here, a back window. I know I could be doing this a heck of a lot faster, but when you have limited vision, you know, and you're, oops, that's a little bit cockeyed there. Uh, oink, there we go. Let's see if we can't. Damn it. I always do it too far back. And it's kind of weird because you're you're not you're not moving a mouse on a flat surface. I am totally working in three dimensions, so like you know, if I move my hand just slightly, you know, it can totally mess up my positioning. So there we go. All right. We have a uh, back thing here. Now, what I should have done. Okay. What I should have done is. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. And we're going to. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just try to we'll edit we'll cut it down later. So I tried once by being, you know, block accurate. And now we're oh god. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we gotta get rid of some stuff here. There we go. All right, well, I didn't do too horribly. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, now we need my building majig again. And I like, oops. One thing I like is that it's not pure block based. What I mean by that is like, I don't have to put one block on top of another. So you notice like if I'm halfway through or three quarters of the way through, um, I can still like level things off. So that works pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Um, hum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Let's see. So again, head tracking, I can totally go over here. And, oh, this is so weird. I feel like there should be something. Here we go. Filled it in. I, I feel like there's, I should just be able to reach out. Like, it's, it's so weird. Like, this physical thing right in front of me. And it's, this is really cool. So, we've made a couple little jaggy mistakes here. We're going to, yoink, yoink. Okay, uh, so this is basically going to be the equivalent of your My First Creeper Shelter in Minecraft. It's going to be pretty ugly, 
But it'll be mine. That's all there is to it, right? All right, so we're going to pull straight back. Oh, God. Well. Got to go straight. Ah. There's going to be a lot more cleaning on this one. This one's pretty sloppy Joe. Pretty, pretty sloppy Joe indeed. I want to keep that top part. Ugh. Oh boy, this is... Uh-huh. Well... Okay, well, you know, that's, uh, I could turn that into blue carpeting, I suppose, just overwrite the grass texture if I wanted to. Um, okay, so now I can, again, I can get, I forget that I don't have a physical space here. Um, so again, what I can do, choppy chop, there we go. Okay, I didn't cut into it too bad. Oops, <laughs> brushed up against my window here. See, this wall, I think it's too fat, isn't it? Uh, something's not right here. Get rid of that. So it's... You know, once I get better at the tools, maybe it'll be okay. But I'm going to chop down some of this inner wall because it's really fat. Got a big fat wall here. There we go. Uh, not my most elegant work, but for the sake of the video and not taking, oops, seven hours. See, so, you now I gashed out part of the real thing here. Okay. So let's take a gander. Okay, so that actually is I okay I see what I did there <sighs> okay yeah so it's actually I made my right wall a little bit thinner than the rest by way of being a little bit inaccurate but like I said the nice thing is is because it's not um it, you know, you don't have to go by the conventions of like a full block like you would in, like, say, Minecraft. You can kind of make it work. Okay, get rid of that. Okay. This window, or this wall is not going to have a window. It's just going to be... Uh... It's going to be what it's going to be. How's that sound? Oh, because I'm an idiot and I need to build again. <sighs> I am smart. S-M-R-T. To quote a famous Simpson character. Yeah, so I'm going to have to... Whoopee. <laughs> Well, you know what? We're we're just gonna. It's not gonna be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It's gonna be probably a little fugly, but you know what? It's my fugly house, so we're gonna go like that. But I what I said, I will say though, a little bit of depth perception issues aside. It's actually it's 
actually fairly accessible. Um, some of these I had to kind of guess just because I couldn't quite make out some of the detail and even some of the ones on the bottom I'm not exactly sure. But let's see, we're going to go like that. We're going to go like that. Now again, I'm keeping my like, I'm kind of building in like Minecraft terms here, even though I don't have to. Uh, I'm building it in like, oops. See, like I said, the, the little tiniest slip. And then, oh God. Well. Uh, okay. Um, you know, it's like, okay, two blocks high. You know, I'm kind of going by those conventions here. So if I can smooth out. I don't want to cut it too deep here. And it's a little bit. Well, this is a little bit tricky just because, okay, there we go. It's blue and blue. Like there's not, you know, it's just all one color. All right. But I want to just give you kind of a, you know, an idea of, you know, what might building or constructing things in virtual reality be like and it's kind of neat so i'm gonna there we go so i i thought about trying to do a triangle roof but you know what <laughs> that would we'd be here for another hour because i would you know i would screw that up and what's cool about this is I can walk right through my structure. It's not like physical blocks where I have to work around regular, you know, physicality here. You know, I can, let's say I want to make a roof. I can do that. And I don't have to worry about if I, what I should have done is I should have made a different color for the top. Oops. I will trim that out in the end here. Oh God. See, I'm trying to rush. Oh, okay, fine. We'll do the, uh, whatchamacallit, like stacked roof where it's kind of tiered uh so let's put one meow and meow boom how you like that we have albeit a simple crappy one we have made a structure it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It's very, very simple. I mean, basically we, it looks kind of like we have the equivalent of Microsoft paint, but in 3d block form, but you know what? It's kind of cool. So if I wanted to do like a rush job, let's say we're going to mutilate my house. Now we're going to, yeah. I'm having too much fun. Okay, let go. You know what? In retrospect, I should have been doing this front to back. Whoops, that was too high. Oh, well. We're just going to make it fugly here. And there we go. And now we'll just try to duplicate what we just did going forward. Okay. And go that way. 
This is, there's something kind of oddly, it's like it's more physical than Minecraft. It's kind of therapeutic in a way. Like, okay, I'm just going to hang out and build with me blocks. Okay. There we go. Oh, just a tish. Ah. Oh, well, no one's going to see the top of the house anyway. Screw it. Uh, uh oh, okay, that was actually bad. I did not mean to do that. Let's let's vanish you from the realm here. There we go. And perfect. You know, the funny thing is. Just doing this on a whim, uh, it actually is working out much better than I thought. Now, actually, one thing I'm discovering, what technique I'm finding useful is if I start a little lower, like if I'm not quite sure of my depth here or my height, <clears throat> I can, you know, build it a little bit low and then come back and go up just a wee tiny bit like that see so it's like i said it's not going to be accurate by any means but oops oh, actually no that's dead perfect okay and you know we got it sticking out the front a little bit here uh and we're just going to basically view it from the front so we're not going to look at how jagged it is from all sides, but I'll give you just a, whoops. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, let me. There we go. All right. Kind of intuitive, actually. Damn it, I did it again. Well, okay, we'll go down. Whoop. Come on. Oh, okay, that was actually perfect. Okay. I'm trying to hurry along. I don't want I didn't think I was going to spend all that much time on this video, but then, you know, yeah, that's how they get you. They suck you in. <clears throat> That's how they get you. Okay. Not perfect by any means, but I'm just trying to s see how symmetrically or like how I can follow a pattern here. Okay. Yeah, I think, oops, well, I can skim that. You know what, actually, if I, yeah, and then if I skim, it's gonna be a, this is gonna be a little bit harder here. Uh, ow! I didn't have the. There we go. Okay, get rid of those. There we go. So it's a. <laughs> really thick roof um it's the building is going to collapse on itself but hey you know what um for basically a first time attempt it could be worse got a little bit too low there so if i wanted to i could go back and let's go like this we go oops one 
And if I wanted to, I could, like I said, there, there's some unevenness here. But, you know, um, this kind of gets me curious to try some of the more in-depth things like the sculpting and, or the drawing ones. Like I said, I got to remember what they're called. Like I said, it's not elegant. It's definitely a little bit more, well, actually this side over on the left side is a little more even until you get up to the top part and then it's, oh, I see. Okay, so what I could, well, so if I go like, ah, shnat, I switched, uh, there. Let us, okay, well, it's not, yeah, anyway, I, I, you know, I could be putzing with this forever, but you get the point, um, but yeah, uh, let's actually look at it from the side here, oh, there's some junk there, take a look at it from the left, <clears throat> There you go. My first attempt at a freeform house using blocks in midair with Oculus Touch controllers. Huh. So yeah, like I said, it, it's it's not anything super super detailed. Like I said, I kind of think of it as maybe like a Microsoft Paint in 3D block form, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Um, it's something that anyone can kind of just dive right into. Um, visually, it's actually fairly, fairly easy to do. There's a little bit with depth perception and aligning things. And, you know, especially I, I couldn't read the text back there. But what I think would actually be really helpful, and for all I know, there is a way, um, if I could hold down like the X or the A button, and then if I were to build, let me try over to the right here, or the, the left, I'm kind of getting. So if I held down, let's say, the A button, let me try while I, while I paint. Yeah, see, no, that doesn't work. Let me hold down the X button. Nope. What I wish, I could do is hold in one of the face buttons and then as I go up and down or left and right or toward me or away from me if I could hold down let's say the A button would be more comfortable and then it would lock you into a 2D grid so if I'm building a house and I don't want to keep you know I made a fat wall I made the skinny wall if I just want to hold this and go straight up and then if I accidentally move or tilt my hand, you know, it won't go like this. It would just go straight up. So I can just, I mean, you can build really fast if you just want to, you know, you just want to go and not be super accurate. And that might be the way to go, just to build some really crazy abstract art and see how cool it looks. Um, but that would be one thing that I wish that, something simple, I think, and even like a simple program like this that they could add. Um, oh, I didn't even really pay attention to what these other white buttons are. See, the other, that's the other thing I don't like, is if I try to get it closer, I try to, if I move my hand, if I turn it, it actually tilts it so it's kind of away from me, which sucks because I'm trying to get it, no, go flat. But then it goes out here. And as I go to the left, it, it goes over to the, over the right side of it kind of swivels back. And I, a lot of UI, whether it be tool tips or controls in VR, I've noticed that a lot. I've commented on it in, I think a few videos now where I've, again, where I've held a tool tip or something on the controller or a control panel sort of a thing where the 
where I think it should just go, like if I move my hand straight across, it should just go straight across. It shouldn't swivel unless I swivel my wrist. I get what they're trying to do. You know, if I go off to the left here, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you're holding it off to the side. It doesn't obstruct your view. In a way, that's nice. But for me, if I want, like right now, I'm holding it straight and I've got it straight on. I'm not going to turn, I'm not going to swivel my hand. It's doing that kind of tilt swivel automatically. And I don't like that because it makes some of these things harder to make out. So anyway, I've babbled and rambled and played long enough. <laughs> this is, was it in blocks? I got to get up to my keyboard here. Uh, where is my key? Uh, hello. <laughs> where is my keyboard? Okay. We're going to walk through my house here, do some clipping, but yeah, that is a, a look at how you could do some simple building in VR kind of neat and it kind of makes me want to try some of these other things like the sculpting and uh drawing ones so hope you guys enjoyed it i may come back to those types of things in the future just for just for the heck of it um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it follow me on twitter at bgfh79 and until next time i will talk to you guys again later